We're in really, really good shape. Uh, what we really have to play against now, he has two powers left in hand. Uh, and those powers are his Caratron, which is not going to be able to kill this now. And Light Speed Seed. So this is guaranteed lethal. This is guaranteed lethal. The Caratron, anyway, would end up here. Yep. So Undying Pharaoh actually saves us and then wins the game with going viral. Absolutely amazing. Light Speed Seed? More like Light Speed Ugly. What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing the Neptuna Undying Gladiator deck. We are trying to stall and control the opponent in a very unconventional way uh, using this deck. Uh, instead of the typical remove everything your opponent plays off the field strategy, which is usually how you control and stall for the late game and until you play your big finishers, uh, which in this deck are Zombot Plankwalker or a lot of minions and a going viral, which will buff your minions and give them frenzy. Uh, we're actually using a completely different strategy, and that is to uh, prevent the damage and heal your face and just prevent your opponent sort of more directly from killing you. So one way is with Planetary Gladiator. The idea is to play this um, and to protect it using a lot of cards. One is going to be the Black Hole, which will make your opponent do less damage to your face, and that combined with the one armor that the Gladiator has will just make this thing so resilient, it'll take zero or one damage at a time. Uh, you can also give this uh, Gladiator healthy treats, which will increase its health from three to six, which again, combined with its armor, that's not just adding three damage, it'll probably take your opponent several shots, and the armor will be reducing each one uh, by one damage. Gonna be really, really difficult to remove this card. Plus, we're running this guy right over here, the Medic, uh, which can go and heal the Gladiator, which will further prevent the opponent from damaging your face, and you're just gonna stall for time. Now, uh, we're also running this card, which has very similar, uh, uh, very s similar capabilities to the Undying Pharaoh. This just makes it your health can't go below one. And again, you can protect this with all the same cards, uh, making sure your opponent does not have it, g giving extra health uh, and even healing your Undying Pharaoh, uh, if need be. Uh, you set up with your Pogo mixed up Gravedigger, it's sort of like the heart and soul of the control of this deck. You just keep bouncing their minions off the field again and again. The, po the mixed up Gravedigger will uh, reactivate it. The mixed up Gravedigger also works very well uh, with like sort of resetting your Gladiator. If this gets low in health, this will bring it back up since it goes in and out of the Gravestone. It'll reactivate your Medic, which by the way, you can really just use the Medic to heal your face for four. Pop it back in a gravestone with a mixed of grave digger, uh, and then it pops out and heals your face for four again. So you get a lot of healing, a lot of stall that way. Same thing with the undying pharaoh. Again, if this gets low in health or gets in trouble, you can really protect it using your mixed up grave digger, using your pogo to bounce other guys out of the way, or even using your sumo uh, to move things out of the way. Of the undying pharaoh and make sure that the undying pharaoh will live. Really, the going viral itself also gives a little bit of that extra health to your gladiator and your undying pharaoh, so that. It not only is a sort of win condition for this deck, but it's going to help you control at the same time. Big finish again is going to be the Plankwalker. Usually when you play one of these, especially after you've been Pogo and mixed up Gravedigger, you end up having a field anyway, and they don't, and then you go and you put this, this huge guy on the field with a couple extra random pirates. You usually can finish off the game just like that. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's just get right into the game. Uh, someone's saying we need Coach Zombie. I, I don't want to run Coach because it's kind of only good with the... Gladiator, I know we have a couple other sports zombies in this deck, like Pogo and Sumo, but it's if you don't have Gladiator, Coach is really not a good play in this deck. Uh, it Coach is mostly good with Gladiator, and mostly good with decks like with Team Mascot that are built on sports and growing and protecting your guys as they grow. Here we go. Guys are predicting. We have everything from 9 and 1 to 6 and 4 to 6 and 9. So the big debate, I'll talk about this a little bit, what happened before I started the stream, if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, big debate was this card right over here, the Hardy Treat. Whether or not to run that or Escape Through Time. Now, Escape Through Time is a two-cost Hardy card. I don't know why we're not getting a match here. Hello, give me match. I want to play PvZ Heroes there. Uh, escape Through Time costs two, and it protects one of your guys from damage. For the, that entire turn. Now, that's very good with the Gladiator, because then the Gladiator could take 10, 12, 20 damage, doesn't matter, and he's still gonna live. 
Um, and he's not going to take any damage that turn. I think the Hardy Tree is mostly better because it costs one, especially like on turn seven. Like, you can't play Undying Pharaoh Escape Through Time. You can play Undying Pharaoh Hardy Tree. Uh, on turn two, you can play on, like Gladiator Hardy Tree. It's just the one, the one difference in a one cost and two cost card makes a big difference. We don't have to play very quickly against Rose unless it ends up being aggro Rose. Escape through time is a little bit more trolly. I, I really, I think that also if you play your Gladiator, Escape through time only works that turn. The Hardy Treat works for future turns. So if you play, let's say, Gladiator Hardy Treat, so that will protect. If the opponent passes, you can still like play that Hardy Treat unless they can very easily remove a two six. I guess maybe Rose can. It also makes the medics a lot better because you have a high health, high health guy. In the gladiator, you know, a three health gladiator healing it with medic is not a great play, but a six health gladiator healing it is amazing. So it makes the medic a lot better. I'm probably just gonna replay that twin sunflower, and we'll give it a nice little, well, no, it goes for the environment. So we just cover that horrible play by Rose. You do not want. I mean. If an opponent passes turn three, hasn't shown you an environment yet, the chances of that just, we completely won that exchange. So high. Uh, I'll do this just in case we see a second solar wind plus a minion. Now we'll have that lane clogged. Got him. So we're setting up the pogo mugs here. Here's another mix-up Grave Digger, amazing. I'm just gonna keep on playing. There's no real, I mean, we can go five, six, seven, eight. Should I be super greedy like that? Five, six, seven, we're not gonna be able to play the Pogo later. Okay, let's be greedy. Super greedy. If our opponent could block this turn, like if they rolled a three, Maybe I would be a little more careful because then we're in risk of both these minions getting removed this turn with like Weed Whack, but should be pretty safe here since our opponent rolled a 1. I would say if they rolled a 3 I would have gone Mug, but since they rolled a 1 you just go Pogo since there's no chance of blocking now. Pretty safe play. Got him. <laughs> what do you think Cool Beam? <clears throat> cool Beam would be good. Our opponent definitely would have played Cool Beam against the, against the Gravestone there, so I definitely don't have that. Here's this. I'm playing this in one just to like play around shrinking. We're gonna mix up Gravedigger next turn anyway. So our opponent with <laughs> two bounces and so much tempo. This is good now because each mix, mix of Gravedigger bounces two minions instead of one. So oh, we should have this game in the bag. We're, we might not even have a chance to play our Plankwalker on eight. That's how full our field will be. I feel like um, the weakness of Control Neptuna is actually... What the heck? <laughs> You're just showing me what you have in your hand? Why would you play anything there? Dude! Thanks for the information. Is our opponent milled? Three, six, nine, almost. Not quite. Get Freeze. Mm, probably Weed Wax the best one, actually. I kind of want him just to remove the 2-2. What multi packs should you get? Premium packs. Got freeze. Wow, we can go going viral if we don't do the. Uh, Thanks so much, Mr. David L. Ross. Real appreciate it. It's five months. Do I go for the going viral play here? Is that crazy? I feel like Flick is gonna be good too. Nah, don't be stupid. Just go with this. We'll go. We can go going viral. Flick next turn. Yeah, this is so much better. I don't even know what I'm thinking. Raj Deep, thanks. What was I just explaining? 
Uh, what's the point of the Undying Pharaoh? So again, it, it's it's a way of stalling for time. You can actually give it going viral. And a lot of opponents have a very hard time dealing with Undying Pharaoh. Now Rose is very good at dealing with it because she's very good at she has superpowers like transmogrify that answer it very efficiently. You're still doing this play. What? You haven't learned your lesson yet? Now it now are they milled? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay, so now they're milled. <laughs> Desperately trying to get rid of cards. So even if our opponent blocks, they still don't block here. La di da di da di da. See, if there's ten cards in the hand, can't block. It's actually really good. Now we win with two damage. I'll I'll do going viral flick. It's better than a six six probably. We don't really need. This will activate a lot more shots of two and three. Then let's. Club step, sending a deck. I don't see the synergy of this deck here. I don't get it. Maybe run Hunting Grounds, which are better with the Vampires? And with the everything? The cat? Ah, here we go. So our opponent is not milled, or else this would be easy lethal. <gasps> Flick for BM. Teacher for a Rust Bolt Trickster deck? You could. I, I'm, I don't suggest crafting Teacher though. There's a lot better cards to craft. What I was explaining, I'm sorry I keep getting distracted, but the Undying Pharaoh is very strong against aggro decks. Usually the problem with Control Neptuna is like Haunted Pumpkin. They don't really have a great answer. Even the Gladiator is very weak to Haunted Pumpkin on turn one because it just kills the Gladiator. But, um, like, solar Fla aggro Solar Flare against Undying Pharaoh, Undying Pharaoh is the most annoying thing in the entire world. Like, aggro Solar Flare needs two Berry Blasts, essentially, in order to kill it. It's really, it's a huge problem. I believe I'm gonna do this play, and we'll do Hardy Hardy Tree somewhere. Even Great Zucchini will have enough damage to pull it off. Got Swabby. Swabby. The Lane Zero Flick Glitch. I don't think it works. I think I I I, I there used to be this thing where you can like flick in Lane Zero, but it doesn't seem like it it happens anymore. Okay, that was nice. That was a great sunflower. Guys, that is how you sunflower. That's how it's done. Just mm. We have lethal in four lanes right now. Oh my gosh, that's not gonna help. We <laughs> That's your move. <gasps> uh oh. It's cool how it like electrocutes when it dies. Have I hydrated today? I guess so. This man is whack! Oh man. Good play. Uh, so one block, two, two. This is actually the move. Uh, I guess we might as well go with this one. Well, our opponent used Weed Whack. Yeah, this is good. Get the two damage on for sure. So. Can't deal with two minions with as Rose with your superpower, so easy win. It's Mog, right? Mog into Cat Lady still doesn't help. What could you guess? Is there anything that would mess us up here? I don't think so. Bullseye. Why are steroids banned uh, as opposed to drinking? Well, you can just ask that with. Alcohol and marijuana. Alcohol causes way more deaths per user than marijuana does. People very, very rarely, uh, you know, die due to mar marijuana overdose or smoking and driving or whatever it is. Uh, we're two now. That was our second win, right? Yeah. No, was that our first win? Oh my gosh, I'm so confused. Fry. Space in. Was that our first win? 
That was our first one. <laughs> that was such a long game. That was the po That was the one where we pogo mix up Gravedigger a thousand. Over, so we're one and zero. Sorry guys, I almost cheated the score. Stop cheating, Fry. Just gonna sneak that in there. Just get it all slick, all slick like. I guess this is fine. You actually can use uh, this as a control card in a deck like this. I think we'll just play it on three. On two, I'm. Uh, I, 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 I'd like to continue playing Subnautica. Um. What the heck is this play? Why would you play Spike Weed Sector? W what's the play? Is he gonna play, um, uh, he's gonna play, what's it called? Freaking, uh, Extinction Event. The, the guy, the... What's his name? The 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 three the five three. What's it? I don't even know what it's called because I never use that card. No, it's a three cost kabloom card that grows in environments. Invasive species. Gosh, or species. Or planter. Yeah, maybe it was planter. I don't think even playing that to play planter next turn is worth it. It's just you you just waste a card to maybe get I don't know. He has another one. Folks, that answers everything. The heck is this? I think the going viral is gonna be better later. I actually like the, the extra two damage this will do. Let's go for it. It also makes us not get very blasted next turn. Even though I like to done it last turn. Maybe I'm playing around him having a third spike weed sector, this guy. Okay, I don't have any further questions. Oh, <laughs> look at this move! Should I go face? Yeah. Look at this guy go! He's flying. Flying up, fly him up. You guys were right. I should have given him the best. See, you give the guy the benefit of the doubt. It always pays off. Stop being so close minded, Fry. Is there any good two cost environment that you can just play Plantern into? Like, not, it's not Spike Weed set. What two cost environment would be worth playing proactively on the plant side? Solar, Kabloom. None of them? <laughs> Zero? Zero things. Coffee beans? <sighs> Coffee beans doesn't give you any value though until the next turn. See, I feel like something like Hunting Grounds, which obviously is a zombie environment, if you play a guy into it and then the environment gets covered, at least it's a lunchbox. You know what I mean? At least it's a setup. 1-1 one, one for the next turn. You got something, but Coffee Grounds doesn't give you anything if it gets covered on turn 3. Especially if it gets covered on turn 2. See, the problem with plant environments is that on turn 2, is that your opponent always has a... I didn't check these gravestones because I'm stupid. Your opponent always has a shot at them. That, like, the turn you play it. Zombie environments are way safer because you have less say. So this is 8, 9, 10. Uh, might as well do this one. Because lane 4 wins the trade. Nice having an amphibious minion here. Oh, no, I, I think I was way overthinking that game. <laughs> You're just like, why Why would he play Spike Weed Sector? Let's play around all the possible. Just play, the, play PvZ Heroes, right? Proactive plant environment. So... Uh, solar Winds is, is one, but that doesn't cost two anymore, that costs three. Um, if you have a... Again, I don't want to count Red Planet, because you have to have something in that in order to get value. I guess, you know, Coffee Grounds would also be proactive. So let's say it doesn't require there to be a minion there already. It's really just Solar Winds. 
uh, a pair of paradises. The pair of paradise planterns, and that doesn't seem like a very good combo. Too expensive. You need to call it spending four on a second planter. It's not worth it. Bog? Bog doesn't give you any value, though, if it gets covered on turn three. Bog doesn't give you anything unless there's a minion there. There's no way to, like, what? You play out, oh, Amphibious minion on one, Bog on two, and then Plants turn on three. You're not going to be able to play the Plants. It's not it's never going to work. <laughs> the lane is clogged. Your mom's lane is clogged. Your mom is a mom. Ooh, finally got Gladiator. The whole point of doing this deck. Um... <laughs> I guess this plays around his turn two plays pretty well. I like this because then we can theoretically protect it next turn with the Neptune as opposed to doing the other way around. This also deals with three drops basically the same way it deals with two drops. So this will probably get a better control next turn. This actually deals with one, sorry, two two drops, same as deals with one drop. This deals actually with one drops better than two drops. So you better to play this one against the one drop and this against the two. But anyway. Oh, snappies! I don't know. Why did he play it here, though? The man is really weird. Oh, because he's planning on killing it. <gasps> You're hilarious. I'll just do this. The problem is, is that whatever he plays here is going to have at least three attack. We're not going to be able to flick it. So we're pretty much screwed. Maybe this was a stupid play. Maybe I should have let this. <gasps> Maybe it'll only have three attack, but not four. It's almost impossible. Oh, <gasps> yes, it lives. Easy. Plus, plus he doesn't draw a card because it doesn't hit face. The man. Oh, I guess this is better. Oh, this is a lot better. <laughs> Never mind. Had a better play. Gladiator OP. Alright, this still does damage. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm obviously not thinking. That's the real answer, folks. Oh! <gasps> Turn four, dry repeat moss. That's a move, you guys. That's how it's done. See, this actually heals the gladiator. Such synergies. Turn seven. He's not gonna be able to kill the undying pharaoh. Just for the record, Captain Combustible has no way. I mean, he needs like a repeat moss combo. Instead of going to face, he's doing it to kill one of your guys, which is the worst case scenario for Captain Combustible. He just showing me a card. Look! Look! You want information about my hand? Yeah, all my cards are concealed in my hand? Screw that. I don't want that advantage. I'll beat you anyway. Just show me the card you have. Why? Why do people do that? I must play a card. It's from the tutorial. See, I, I recently did been uploading the free-to-play account um, on Prime of Gaming, so I had to do the tutorial again. And they're like, if you have sun. If you have sun, you must spend every sun every turn, or else you're wasting your life. You need sun. I guess this is better. He didn't have two minions to play last turn, so this is probably better than dying. It's not like the undying helps us. We're at 20 health. Better play it later. Okay, that happened. Okay, that happened. Oh! <gasps> Four damage. He just wasted two superpowers to get a grand. No, it's actually zero. Never mind. <laughs> Captain Muscles have a really hard time against this deck. This deck is kind of built to counter Earth Moss deck. La da da dun da da dun da da dun. Should I go the do the going viral way this turn? Should I do the undying way this turn? I think this is better. This doesn't heal anything. <laughs> mm. Mm. Eh, this is probably better. There's no removal. He needs like two berry blasts to deal with this or a peat moss combo. <gasps> uh oh! 
Uh-oh. Uh oh If only he knew how little I cared. Is Cherry Bomb outclassed by Colonel Corn? Sort of, yeah. I would say yes. Do we want... This is above average in the water. I guess three is the lucky number here. Alright, let's go with this. It's a lot of weevils. <laughs> nice. Note bad. It probably won't throw a garg, but it probably won't need to either. Oh, <laughs> it's dead. Where did the guy go? I think Gladiator did well. I like making a Gladiator deck that you really don't need Gladiator to control the opponent. That, the point was that's why I'm not also not running Escape Through Time. Like Escape Through Time, if not on. The Gladiator, Hardy Treat's really always better. Unless there's some weird Undying Pharaoh situation in the late game, which is extremely unlikely. La 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 la. Alright. Dolphins! Guess we'll play around Spike Weed Sector and put the Sun Heights. This is really a decent control card. Maybe I should put it here though to make him think it's a Swashbuckler. It really. Well, no, it seems like a Swashbuckler since he's a Guardian here. Never mind. This, even if this was Swashbuckler, it would still be Planet. Wow, Fry, really overthinking it. So we can either buff this, which is fine. We can blow if he plays a single minion here. It'd be better to save the blow. Should I save this because it's so much better on turn like seven? I think drawing a card is probably better. We'll get a mug or another one of these. Flick. Do you guys? <laughs> so who is this Mario? Who who knows? Sorry, it was Doomsayers. Just commented, who else watches ads whilst you play, watch Fry play PvZ Heroes? So basically what he's saying is he's watching the stream and on his phone, he's just continuously pressing the ad button to get more gems in PvZ Heroes. I like it. It's very efficient, dude. Efficiency. Oh, here we go. It's a good play. See, this is a good one because you're not just showing me a card. You're actually gaining something from, from getting this bounce back in your hand. See, this is a... So you need Beta Caratina to be smart. Otherwise, just Rose. I don't know. Rose. I think I like this Pogo. Stick it around. The man is blocking like a total mouse. Eat that superpower. How good that superpower would have been here if it actually summons the minion. I don't know, Nick. It's hard for me to understand the glitch you're talking about. La, 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 la. We have Hardy Treat. Mm, this is fine. It's so weird how we always have these medics and we've never taken damage to phase. This deck is too good at controlling. That's a top deck, though. What the hell? Uh, this actually always hits it. I don't think it resets the... Is this a buff? I'm just trying to think, does it lose the Amphibious and everything? Let's go with this. We'll have, we really want to blow the 2-6. It's still very sick. It's a 3-3 three, three now. So it's, it's a force. Let 
to go, I want to go. Uh, either going viral flick or going viral blow should be fine. Noob him up deck? I don't know what that is. Bouncing ball. <laughs> More like blowing viral. Like it this is fine. That stonk is pretty harsh. like you and we're gonna pogo then we're gonna sumo um i think moving the 4-4 here is good we also have this environment there's shamrock eh? so now what do we move come on man I'd love to get the three four so he doesn't get the card draw. You're so annoying. <laughs> this is not going well. We need plank walker. I mean, we've stalled well. If we just get a plank walker, we're good. Not get it. Four and four will kill the stock. It's nice. Can also going viral. I guess we'll do it like. This. Doesn't seem to have a ton of freeze in this guy. I'll probably put the stonk behind this, which makes this play really good. <laughs> oh, perpetual freeze. Wow. <clears throat> Uh, so we'll, we'll be able to flick this next turn. Unfortunately, we're taking seven here, but yeah, this is the play. So this will make him not get more snakes. Kind of stuff like that. Seven, that's a lot. Have our opponent down to seven. Down to eleven. I guess it's just flick. We'll do the going virals later. Flick the fun. Try to get face here too. This is going to be a little bit tough. <clears throat> Mix up Gravedigger would not be bad. King Violet. Okay. Does not have any more freeze though. Decent play. I'm not sure how this mechanic works. I I, I don't know if this procs the block. Does this always do one day? I don't know how this works. I, I'm a little bit weir weirded by this mechanic. You don't see Undying Pharaoh enough. See, even though that. Okay, so it did. Okay, so the one damage causes the block meter. I guess that makes it. Uh, we'll use this next turn. Can't 
can't like do two damage directly to our face. Directly to us. We're in actually very, very decent shape here. Sun Dying Pharaoh is saving us real, real good. Watch him top deck a freeze too. That'd be so annoying. Jolly Holly's not enough. It's gotta be either iceberg lettuce or chili pepper. Got him. We're in really, really good shape. Uh, what we really have to play against now, he has two powers left in hand. Uh, and those powers are his Caratron, which is not going to be able to kill this now. And, um, and Light Speed Seize. This is guaranteed lethal. This is guaranteed lethal. The Caratron, anyway, would end up here. Yep. So Undying Pharaoh actually saves us and then wins the game with going viral. Absolutely amazing. Light speed seed, more like light speed ugly. Got him. Amazing. It worked! He wasted his sham rocket. <laughs> Easy. Blocked 18 damage so far. Amazing. Maybe that'll be the intro. <sighs> Low key. We need a leap. We need a leap. Thank you so much, Exotic Butters, for subscribing. Welcome to the Fry Moy, the paid sub. Get that free stuff out of here. There we go. La 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 la. This should be fine. Spike weed is not even a danger. You can also use this practically. Gladdy daddy. You're the one. Even this play next turn is pretty sweet because we'll have to heal. What games do I play out of PvC Heroes? I play a little um, Overwatch recreationally, but I've been doing other games in the night stream too. So I do videos for Subnautica and Scriblio. You can check those out on the Fry em Up channel. Or the gameplay for Subnautica and Fry em Up Gaming, for that matter. This doesn't do anything. Real dummy. <laughs> I love this meme. It's so good. Is that a picture of Marx? So funny. That is a quality meme. La, da, da, da. I'll put it up on the screen. I didn't save it in the right folder. Because I'm a dumb dumb. Is Regifter worth crafting? No. It used to cost two. It's not really a good, great card anymore. You're so annoying. Wow. Look at this guy go. I need a pogo real bad. I need a pogo real bad. Oh, got it. I'll do that here. I, I might even if, if this gets in trouble, I might even just. Ooh, it's harsh. This is fine though.
Well, actually. Actually, no, it does. So extra. So extra. I think blocking the eight damage is priority. So we'll probably block this and bounce the sergeant. The two two is better here. I hope this was not a mistake. Here's the meme, by the way. You can actually frenzy this. I assume that was really good here. Can go and viral, can do all kinds of things. Can actually do both of these. That's <laughs> so good. Trouble, folks. He could just win. I think this is the way because we really want this to block what he plays next turn. Sham Rocket will basically defeat us here. Still can get a, a, a 1 in 3 blow. 1 in 4 by this time. Uh, nope. <laughs> We're in decent shape. He's going to have a hard time. <laughs> he got in the damn. Well, it's a team up, so that's actually good. So we'll actually charge our block meter now, which is cool. Still have to protect this at all costs. Nope, misplay. Horrible. Horrible. That's the move. Can heal this. Very good. Ah, oh, we rolled a one. So he doesn't even let us block anymore. We'll try healing us, see what happens. He's getting a full block meter the priority right now? This is weird. If we heal our face. He's gonna proc our block. Well, I should play around Berry Blast.
These don't actually do damage. Well, that does damage. We're still fine. So we'll probably could block. Damn, if the Undying Pharaoh pulls off this victory now. It's so lucky he hasn't had a Shamrocket or a Berry Blast, especially in this deck with the berries. Uh, I think he... does he have Meteor in here? He does. Uh, so we... if we get Planeswalker, we could win. Ah, uh, no, it's gonna be game. Too bad. Right. Look, I... It did its job. The Undying Pharaoh got, did its job there. We did not get enough. Just... Even Pogo... Uh, still rough. Escape through time would save us here. Alright. We lost. Got us. What are the best legendaries? Falk, mixed up Gravedigger, Pine Clone. Um, basically. We blocked 93 damage now. <laughs> hmm. We need an Elite Prime up card, yeah. I've seen that. Read it. I don't mind this against Rose. I don't think we're gonna need to heal her face. Damage blocked counter. I didn't start at the beginning of the stream. It's a good idea. You're right, but uh. I think uh, we'll we'll just keep track of that in the chat. It's like experience keeping track. I don't feel like calculating all the damage blocked anyway. Freeze. Well. Here she blows. Just means cool bean. Cool bean's a little bit harsh against this deck. Well, damn what? Let's see if we can draw out the cool bean here. That'd be really good. That'd be really cool. Gosh. So. The Sumo's very decent play. Blow's a really good card if they have that one big tempo minion on the field, like a 3-4 on turn 2. Really, really good. I mean, it's the best card of this like, smash power, I guess, could have taken it out. But... Oh, this is a good hand. <laughs> Great hand. Are Mix-Up Gravedigger and Raptor good cards to craft? Uh, yep. They're both very good. Raptor is probably better than I give it credit. I don't end up using it a lot. I should make a Tempo Raptor deck. I have it written down. I, I just really wanted to do this deck. We have so many deck ideas. I'm not running out of deck ideas anytime soon. We've never done this before. I feel like I've tried Gladiator Troll, but it wasn't as a, nearly as efficient as this deck. Uh, let's be greedy. This is the Godify Transmogrify turn. So, probably better not to put a 5 5 on you. Plus, again, this the mix of Gravedigger does become a lot better next turn. <laughs> really? That's what you're going with? Against. I mean, it's. What did he think this was gonna be? Oh, that wasn't a good play. See, now. He could get free. Did our opponent use this big chill? I guess Goat would be good here. Mog. Really, a 2 2 is about average, so. Mog is pretty useless here. It'll prevent another bounce. Oh, dude. Not a good play. Weed Whack would have been fine. I think most of Rose's powers actually solved this. I guess our opponent probably just got Mog and it was just like, eh. Two out of three chance really would have been fine. Our opponent used Big Chill already, right? That was the turn two play. So, Weed Whack would have been good and Godify would have been good and our opponent probably just got Mog. I, I, but let's just presume they have Mog in here. Just getting ready for impact, no point in really playing anything. Unless you tap deck a cool bean there. <laughs> in which case, guy gets big. Big. He's a big man. 
Mug being last is a little sad because it gets go to fight a lot, but the other opponent will just get weed away. I was just thinking milled. That is card number 10. Whack! The man is whack! Still has three. Three three is fine. If mix up Gravedigger is stats was three three, it would still be a great card. <laughs> that's how that's how oh mix up gravedigger is pretty overpowered. Damn, that's a lot of healing and a nice big man. Big chunk is wow. That hurts a lot. That's okay. He's actually leaving both of the pogos up, so we'll have the big uh, mug again. Even though bouncing these catch-up mechanics is hardly worth it. That would be go to fight. I don't like that go to fight at all. But now our opponent does have Mog, so we definitely don't want to play Pharaoh yet. What do we do here? I guess we can just mug and mug again. <laughs> We're gonna mug. We're gonna mug again. I don't know. Let's just do this. You do have Plankwalker mug here, but we're just not getting the Plankwalkers. I, maybe I should run a fourth Plankwalkers, because it's so important. Let's see if the opponent plays anything that can get bounced. If they don't, though, they're taking so much damage here. It's going to be... Gosh, none of this. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> no. Um. Uh, huh. Well, these don't really heal much this turn. Yeah, I guess this is fine, since we're going to play Mug again. It's really nice that this got matched up against the Gladiator here. We'll have double bounce, and there's really not a lot of heals to be had. This does nine. This is really not that bad. No blocks left. Mog is in hand. Where's Plankwalker? Let's go with this. So now we can get 14. Ugh. Plus, our opponent's probably just going to get the Astro Bounce. But you can't actually even play Astro catch up next turn, so you'll hit for a maximum of time. <laughs> it's Troll versus Troll. This is like the two Troll Jacks decks just matching up. I don't know what I need to even win against this heal deck. This mo Transmogrify would actually be really good if we can get the Rose to use it already. Because the Plankwalker... Plankwalker will <laughs> It's just like Path. Hmm, two, three. Actually, our opponent's milled, doesn't matter. <laughs> That's 11 cards, actually. You see how his hand combines all into one card? This is what happens when they have 11. So now we're going to get our opponent actually down to one health here, but uh, they'll be able to get up to 11, I guess. So annoying. Probably will even have more. Ugh. We need a going viral is actually... Going viral would probably win us the game here, but we just don't have it. So sad. We have seven win condition cards, and... It's turn like 80 now. Turn 10. So two Kechos do 8. 2, and it's really just, or just one Astro Vera. I feel like a heal combo right now. I mean, you could literally just go Venus Flytrap, Planet, Heart of Choke, Poppy to just... We're basically, it's basically GG if our opponent does that. Well, we'll block. Actually, no, that would only that wouldn't do enough. That would actually only do six. Hmm. It's fine. Let's try to keep the heat out. Going viral for sure would have won. Look at our field. Going viral totally would have won there. Unlucky. Putting us down to two now. <sighs> Does not help. Um, I think it's Pogo. Don't want the... Heart of Choke is a solar card, yeah. That's only three. But it'll have the Astro as well. Astro Sheen. No. Does not play the Astro. If our opponent plays a flickable minion, we'll win here. Oh, man. Great. Is keeping this pogo alive essential for our survival? No. 
the heck is this? I'll, I'll wait on that. Plankwalker is still really good. Turn 11 while Plankwalker flick. Amazing. This does not help him. <laughs> Such sadness. If you think about it. The freeze is real. So it's... I don't really need to heal at all. I don't think them dying is worth it. Let's just play this. I don't think we play Gladi. We just flick. Hmm. Fourth Plankwalker. I feel like last game also we really needed that fourth Plankwalker. I think I'll take out a Medic and put in a fourth one. If we had even a way to flick, oh gosh. So this doesn't die at least. Uh, this is gonna grow a little bit. Uh, block blow would actually win the game if we, we get a one and three and then another one and three. What power did we use? Frenzy, blow, encrypt, and super. Super would help a little bit. Frenzy doesn't help here at all. A lot of damage. I use both. A mug would be good here. A mug would be really good. It's going viral. I think we go for this. La 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 la. Oh. I think ki I think killing this card is pretty important. Uh, our opponent has transmogrify still, right? That's sad. So this should have been the other way around. Mm, no, probably not. Did I probably use Mog? Don't remember. <laughs> You're a little bit late to the party. A wee bit late. Do we lose? Nine, eleven, thirty. It's exactly lethal. Are you freaking kidding me? No, but this will hit first. Oh, so we still have a shot here. Um. Oh, plus, well. Wait a sec. No, but the gladiator screws it up. I don't have a lot of time to think, but I'm pretty sure. This does three. This will kill the gladiator and this will be guaranteed lethal. It's very sad how the gladiator actually kills us here. Because otherwise we have a shot at blocking. But now that we have the gladiator on the field, this will all of this damage will just be used to kill the gladiator. It would have died even if we didn't use the frenzy there. And then this will be exactly 13 to face. No, it's only 11. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Why did I think this would be 13? Oh, this died already. Never mind. So since this died, we're fine. There's going viral. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's such top decks. Our opponent does not have Transmogrify anymore, so it's going to have to be Freeze, and then something with at least three health here. Our opponent basically needs a Freeze to win. <laughs> this is what it all comes down to. Five cards in hand if you have... No. No. This is not going to help. In fact, I don't think putting this here was the right play. You have to play around go- No! No! He definitely has a no second freeze in hand. Did you just freeze the wrong one? Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> That's BM. <laughs> Got my hoats up there too. That's some solid BM. 
Uh, we need fourth, fourth plank walker. Plank walker earlier would have really helped us. It was all part of the plan, guys. BM, spam the new BM email. Ooh. ooh. La, 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 la. That's what I'm doing. The man is crazy. Alright. Let's go. You have Super Brain, Smash, and Electric Boogaloo. What zombie hero should you buy? Buy premium packs. That's my opinion. Opinion. Make your current heroes better instead of spreading yourself even more thin. Just update the deck list. As if I would ever do that. What is that? Okay, let's go. It's a good freaking hand. The going viral is going to have a number of applications in this deck. In this magic. I love the going viral on Dying Pharaoh's the win condition. Simply love it. Just plays around fireweed if you play this on heights. It makes him not able to dive bomb the uh, this guy with the lava environment. I think I'm singing the uh, Russian anthem because someone made a Karl Marx meme. I'll just update the deck list right now. Neptune. We have two of these, so we can not get this dumb one here. Five. Please. A pogo would be the best thing in the entire planet. <sighs> Where's this Neptuna? That is not bad at all. Not bad. Not bad! It is not even sad. Since we have the mug, this is a really good play. Mug! And let's not give our opponent a second superpower this turn. This does lift. This mix of Gravedigger is ridiculous here. Plus, we get to really manipulate the 4-3, um, the bring it. They, we'll just kill it, probably. It's the safest play. Ah, uh, it depends, though. This is the block turn. Oh, Mug is in lane 1? Mug is three. So I guess we'll move this to lane one so it doesn't actually I'll probably move it to lane to lane two. <laughs> so it screws him up. We we This is fine. I wonder if I should have moved this so we can go for face. Oh, I can still do this play. Actually, we can make him not block now. Damn, I should have killed the repeat moss. I'm stupid. This is fine. Maybe I should have proc this block that turn. Ah, there's a lot of calculations there on which lanes I should have done that. I, I, there is a good argument for the way I did it, but... Because to clog this lane, plus to not let him... Um, this should be fine. Should be okay. Uh, I could use a gravestone. Right now, that dies. Ugh. I don't know if that was correct. I really don't want to get burst down here. I think this is strong enough of a play to justify it. Otherwise, our opponent could just play a couple fertilizers and we're big, huge toast. Big amounts of huge toast. I'm, I'm working on the deck list, guys. There. I was just fixing it to put it on the fourth plank. You know what I'm saying. Can I have a deck list? Oh, yes, I can do it. Did you just use banana peel? <sighs> Imitator? What the hell? So that is 20. Oh. <laughs> 
Come on, we need some blocks to roll the three. Oh no, we're definitely dead. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, no. <laughs> well. Wow. Uh, yeah, killing the repeat monsters is the play there, guys. Just saying. I have an Instagram, but I never upload. I don't have time to upload an Instagram. What do I look like here? Thirst trap. Three YouTube channels. Thank you, Exotic Butter, for 100 bits. Flick with Escape Through Time? Maybe. Maybe. You're probably right. You're probably right. Should I get rid of Flick and put an Escape Through Time? It's not a bad idea. <coughs> Yeah, I just lost a bunch of games. How about no medics, three clicks now? My third channel, I haven't made it yet, but it's gonna be a, a real stuff channel, like a podcast. I'll, 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 I'll do the announcements on the regular channels once I do that. I should have played that background. <laughs> I should have killed the repeat moss last turn. Last game. Well, actually, no, there was no way of doing it because my mug was in three. No, there was no way of doing it. Never mind. I couldn't have killed the repeat moss. It was impossible. It was impossible. Because he would have blocked in one of the first two lanes and used his superpower. All right, lack of regret compilation intensifies. We Pogo, I love Pogo. Uh, you can definitely add me. My in-game name is Frama. All one word, no caps. How did I manage to lose three times in a row? Whoa! You can go back and rewatch the games if you really. How did I manage? It's impossible. That's a good play. Move around, move around. Whee! <laughs> First we went wee, then we went yee. That's how it goes. Please don't get weed whacked. Please? Please? He's a very smart player. He knows it's coming up. He knows what's going on. If you would have used the first sumo to move the Saurus in the lane one, and used the second one to move it in front of the Grave Digger, would have been fine. But the Grave Digger was in three, so lane two would have proc'd his block, and his repeat moss would have then just killed my my mixed up Grave Digger, because it had four attack already. All the powers would have killed the mixed up Grave Digger there. There's no way of killing it. Yeet! Because I missed lethal exactly. What do you donate? This link. Oh, thank you. It's good. Whoa. That was a big yawn. The man is going fake. Damn, I'm not, uh, okay. Yeet. The problem is, what about blocks? Uh, this actually screws us up. Oh, I can do this move, though. Alright, let's do it like this. Don't roll three. Yes. Got him. We roll double ones. That's nice. Am I gonna create an Instagram? I, I don't see myself having time. Maybe once I get a video editor, which I'm gonna actually work on this week. Um, 
maybe I'll have I'll have I'll have time to to do more social media. I don't know if Instagram would be my thing. I think I'm oh, honestly I think I'm a little too old for Instagram. Uh, I could much more imagine myself doing either Twitter or Facebook. Maybe Twitter. I feel like, especially once I start the third channel, which is going to be about philosophy and psychology and politics. Uh, I'll have a lot more things to tweet, especially if I if I want people's views on something. Um, some brainstorm sessions that are not part of a stream, like I'm just preparing a subject and I want to hear what people have to say about it. I know doing that on Twitter is stupid, but I'm going to do it anyway, because, cause yeah, because I'm dumb. Um, the, the mug on the flank walkers. Should I mug here? I don't really want to do that much damage to the opponent's base. Let's just do this one. With friends, it's pretty well. Do Twitter because Facebook is for boomers, yeah. Seems like Twitter is probably the thing that's more age appropriate for me. And even though I happen to really the only that kind of social media I'm active on is, is Facebook. What the hell is this? What is that move? Makes the plank walker work here. <laughs> Still can't do any heals. No heals for you. I wonder if I should play around environment. Does this play into second? I don't know. Should be fine. I'd love to be able to mix up Gravedigger the sky. <gasps> Instead! Swap. Horrible. God freaking damn. I wasn't really tracking superpowers. God freaking damn. Gosh freaking darn. Did I have Pogo this turn and not use it? Am I high? Did I have this? What is wrong with me? Sometimes I just don't know. I think this is too much of a giveaway that this is a pogo. So let's not do it. You're so annoying. I just want to point that out. <laughs> wow, if I would have played Gladiator, I could have survived there. All right, well, we're four and four now. Oh, this deck took a turn for the worse. Damn, I didn't play around that. I think there's a certain level of calculation with this deck that on a different day I could probably be playing it better. So we win four, then we lose four. I feel, I still feel like the stream is going well in this deck. Can I add you as a friend so we can battle? Butter, thank you so much. Uh, absolutely, my Indian name is Frame Up. If you're not unable to add me, I'll add you. Thank you so much for the ten dollars donation. Such generosity. That's what I'm talking about. Really appreciate it. Pogos are so good against Captain. We're gonna do it like that. Gonna do it like that. What the hell is this? I don't care. How did you manage to lose that many gangs in the row, Fry? How did you manage to do that? Pretty good. How did you manage? Very simple meme from the real Dami. Mushrooms on the field when you play Plank Hunter. I don't know where this is from. I miss Leaf Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so much tempo. 3 3 3. I love it. This, this does. This isn't that good though. Is the going viral worth it here? Let's 
is probably better. Is he gonna play nothing? We bring back budget aggro solar flare. If you want to see me building that deck from fresh on a new account, just check out my most recent videos on Prime Up Gaming. Uh, I, I'm I'm doing my free to play account there, where I'm actually start started a new account and actually built aggro solar flare um, organically without spending any money, obviously. And it's free to play. What the heck is this move? <laughs> Slip inside on a banana peel. <laughs> Very appealing. Goodbye. See you next time. Leap King? Should I bring back Leap King? That was a really fun day. I'll bring it back. That's on the second channel, by the way. Prime Up Gaming. You're not subscribed? Subscribe. Bring back leap. Okay. Yeet! We have double going viral next turn. I definitely will take it. Is Velociradish a good card instead of Blooming Heart and Aggro Solar Flare? Not an aggro. It's probably better just to run Poison Shroom because it does three damage. Blaster Radish, it's more of a tempo card because it grows over time, but it's not good at bursting down your opponent completely. What the heck are you doing? What do you think this is? Oh my gosh, we're probably just gonna burst. What kind of deck is our opponent running anyway? The random card deck. The Duck Voice Quiet. It's better put that in the donation message. Uh, just let me know at the end of the stream. Maybe I'll uh, copy paste this. It is time to go viral. I probably should do this. Yeet! Eat him up. Eat him all around. Just making the. Pogo. Pogo is pretty good here. I love Pogo. Pogo is my friend. Me and Pogo live in perfect harmony. The going viral is going to win here, by the way. It's gladiators. When you have the best message before I read the one underneath. Pogo. Oh, yeah? What about my pogo? <laughs> What's wrong with me? There's something wrong with me. Okay, here we go. Pogo. Got him easy, easy ones. <laughs> I don't know about this deck. It's the six and four corrections. When did I stream the free to play video? Back in August. I was like, so I, I originally was gonna make it like shortened because they're three hour streams. So I, I was gonna like shorten it and only put the key games and I ended up thinking about that too much and getting too busy with other projects and procrastinating that I never ended up uploading it. So recently, a lot of people have been asking me and telling me they're struggling even getting to rank 30 or 40. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm throwing the entirety of those streams. I made a little intro, which was fine. I'm just throwing the whole thing up there. This is so good against Solar Flare. It's so good. Pro should probably do the escape through time thing. <coughs> Have you played PvZ Garden Warfare games? Uh, yeah, I played two and three, and I didn't enjoy them. They were way too gun blazing. People tell me that I would like Garden Warfare one the best. I, I just like a, a more high skill, like precise game. 
What's the hardest part about being a YouTuber and a Twitch streamer? Uh, the fact that you have to do everything yourself. You have to, first of all, pick what, what you're going to be making content. And then you have to get good at it yourself. And you have to figure out how to stream yourself. I mean, there's tutorials online, but you have to find the ones. And there's no one telling you step by step. Like, there was a, good tutorials, but you have to just find them yourself. And then you have to find who you are as an entertainer yourself. Did I just win? Six and four. We'll do one more. Game. But I'll count it as a win, so it looks better on the scorecard. I almost wish I got away with cheating off that first game. Then it would be 7 and 4 now. Best nightcap deck? I like my version of Hyper Swarm. I feel like Cycle Cap's a little too easy to play around. I've changed my opinion about Cycle Cap. This guy's name is Yeet! Yeet! Got him with the Yeet. Uh, binary stars plus anything is very hard to pull off, but let alone flamenco. Maybe you go for binary stars, backup dancers. On turn 6, flamenco on 7. So, that would have to either be with boogaloo or brainstorm. So how do you make sure that you get your backup dancers with either of those heroes? Is there anything like you can charge your own block meter or something? Past night? More like sass night? More like trash night? Got him. So you teleport in the binary stars. And then when do you... So you teleport binary on 6. And then on 7, you backup dancers teleport flamenco. How much damage does that do? That would do 16. You don't have any amphibious minions, then. It just seems too, like, a, a combo that when you pull off, great, but it takes too many pieces, and there's too many things that go wrong. Your 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 your, your flamingo just gets grave busted. There's just so many things that just, just go wrong. It's bad. I've tried Teleport Binary, Teleport Trickster. I've done that deck, and when it works, it's great, but just so unreliable. Again, Swimmer is your amphibious dancer, Boogie, you know? So there's no teleports. I feel like when you get rid of the teleports, then it just makes it even more unreliable. Only split P charges your block meter. It's not true. Uh, you have Monkey Pirate. Um, what other cards charge your block meter? You have uh, um, uh, Botanist charges your own block meter because it creates a little one one. Uh, I've always wanted to do control decks with like a lot of botanists and I, I feel like combo decks are fun so but you need a lot of specific superpowers. I just don't see the beastie superpower. Maybe botanist and you try to do galvanize with monkey. I think I've tried that. I don't know what the play is here. I think it's like this. Mars fly trap. So what? So what? Sad. Very sad. Bodyguard does, right? Charges the own block meter. I just don't see the, the combo. Like what is the bodyguard it has is with grass knuckles. I still don't see it. You know what I'm saying, folks? I don't know what the heck to even do here. The question is, what the heck should I do? What in the heck? This doesn't seem very good. Let's do it anyway. Mug plus botanist and also monkey pirate. So that would be with brain freeze. But what's the combo? What what is what are you using brain freeze's superpowers for? Like cowboy galvanize? Like what? There's no combo there. This is going to be Clank City. Clank City. <laughs> More like Clank Walker. Okay, can I stop getting support cards? Wow, so annoying. Let's see if we can kill this guy. Dude. 
doing this move. Sick and tired of this guy healing. So annoying. Could you not? You're so annoying. <sighs> Gosh, someone kill me right now. I think I'm just gonna pass. I've had enough of this garbage. Twitch or YouTube for a beginner streamer? I would say Twitch because you need to make, before you're gonna make YouTube content, you have to get good at presenting. And it's very, very rare that someone starts off on day one and they're good at presenting already if you have no past experience. I certainly was not good. Oh my gosh. We're getting hand screwed in this deck, which is weird because it seems like we have enough late game. We're just not. It's really bad. Okay, this is the most annoying wall night. Holy crap, this guy's annoying. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Okay, you know what? No environments for you. No damage for you. I wanna, I wanna win one more game. What is this garbage? Why am I repeatedly getting garbage? Ugh. Probably shouldn't have put this here. Still doesn't kill that. Let's get another hardy tree. Oh! Is it worth it now? Because we can heal our face extra next turn? Fine. Do just to survive. I do what I must do to survive. Oh! Probably him playing a guy next turn is better. <laughs> Plankwalker would be great here. Are you kidding me, man? Roar! Plankwalker! Ooh, that's good. Like that going viral. I have to go after this wing nut so the going viral can actually do something. Whee! Healing our face! You heal deck versus heal deck? I know, right? Whee! This is fine. This is fine. What, you're moving that? How did he move that? Man's crazy. That's a good play. The man is sniping. I still didn't use his superpower, right? Eh? something good. Oh, we got him, but plank book time, babies. Uh, another going viral would be really good here. Plank viral. Pretty cool. La dee da dee da. I'm gonna get Doom Shroom to the Ice Age here. <laughs> the Plank Walkers have been pretty sad today. Of course he has Shamrock. Of course he has Shamrock. How would, how would he not have Shamrock? He's doing that. I'm glad that's out of the way, actually. Heals this guy from other two. You know how much this has healed him so far? This is very sad. Oh my god. One more plank walker! We will have victory! I have no, the zero now, still 16. Turn 7, you play Astrocado Brainana. Oh, you mean Astrocado Seed and Brainana. I don't know if that's necessarily aggro. Hey, uh, could you stop healing, please? Very much appreciated. Stop freaking healing. Stop freaking healing. <laughs> stop healing. I don't know. Does ring? Just clog this lane. Well, I guess it's gonna create them and move them here. Pretty stupid. I should just go kill the sunflower. All right. Well, we're doing five. Need one more plank walker. <laughs> one more. 
And it's just a it's just a factory at this point. <laughs> it's just me. Oh, <gasps> it's pretty good. Hey, and I'm feeling <laughs> good. Oh. Hello. 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 Just need a lot of going virals and we're good to go. Good to go. Just need a lot of going virals. That was bad. And I'm feeling good. That's bad. Oh. <gasps> Play around Cube, I guess? Mm -hmm. I should, probably should have played this first so I can decide what lane these end up in. But that would be smart. Oh. We can we can uh, do the thing to the Warlord and then do the thing. What's the last superpower, by the way? Could you not? Let's actually see, this should have ended up here. So it's dumb to not play. I got really lucky, but now he doesn't win. And I'm feeling! Actually, we can win because we got Warlord. Are you kidding me? We can actually win. I'm so upset. We win anyway! Got him! Easy! <laughs> Didn't even matter! The last power was was Walnut, so it was guaranteed lethal. Easy! 7 and 4. 7 and 4. That's nice. That's pretty good. Pretty good win percentage here. We blocked a total of 143 damage with our gladiators and pharaohs. Hope you guys enjoyed! That was a fun stream! I think this deck is better than 7 and 4. See you guys next time. Peace. This is Try.